So this is 6.6, .6, finding angles of rotational symmetry for regular polygons and lines of symmetry and diagonals. So draw the lines of symmetry for each polygon, fill in the table for the number of lines of symmetry in the n-sided polygon. So a polygon is when each side length is the same length. So if I look here, these are all equal lengths. And the line of symmetry is the line that reflects onto itself. So that means if I draw a line, I'm trying to get it close to center as possible from here to here. If I fold on that line, it's going to fold onto itself. Exactly. And I want to draw on all the lines and the number. So again, we did this on our notes. If you go from the vertice to the midpoint across, that's going to create another line because this has an odd number of sides. So we're going to get two and a half every time we fold on that line. And I can do this all the way around, which I'm going to do. So there's my third line. My fourth, and my fifth. And I'm numbering them just so I can count. So I have five lines of symmetry right there. I can't go vertice to vertice because it won't be equal on each side. But number five is draw all diagonals. That's corner to corner, or vertice to vertice. It's a geometry way to say that. And then we want to fill in the number. So I'm going to do five again. And I'm going from corner to corner. So if I go from here to here, it's going to be the edge. So I'm going to skip that one. Go from here, this corner to this corner. So notice it's not a line of symmetry. I'm just connecting my corners. So I'm gonna go from here to here now. So I'm already at two. And then if I go from here to here, I'm on the edge of the polygon. So that doesn't count. So now I'm gonna keep going all the way around. So from there to there, notice again, it's not a line of symmetry. We're just connecting the corners. That's what a diagonal is. So here to here, that's four. And then I'm just gonna keep going until there's five. And now I have all of my corners connected. I can see that I'm done because each vertice has two lines coming out of it. But notice how I numbered them. That's so I could keep them all straight. Like that one was already done. These ones down here are already done. So I have five. All right. So this next page talks about angles of rotation. And we did this in our notes where we take 360 divided by the number of sides. That's how you find an angle of rotation. So here I have a 12-sided polygon. So if I were to split this into 12 sections, it's asking how many times, what are the degrees, I mean, that I would turn each time. So I take 360... Divided by 12 is 30. So I'd do 30 and 60 and 90, and I would just keep adding 30 every time. And I want to list all of those out. So I'm just adding 30, adding 30. There's a lot. Because there's 12, there should be 11 when we're done. That's what we did in our notes. So 
So I have 11 and I don't do 360, but if I kept going, I would hit 360. That's how I know these are correct. So seven asks you to do the same thing for 20 and determine how many lines of symmetry. And then these are a little bit more solving. Remember to explain your answers.